cookie lovers, Courtney Cowan here, founder of Milk Jar Cookies. Today on the ABCs of Baking, I'm talking about B for bowls. When planning any baking session, it's important to not only think about your ingredients, but also your equipment. Even the bowls you choose can impact your product. For that reason, I like to keep a set of plastic, stainless steel, and glass mixing bowls around at all times. To help you avoid microwave disasters or a metallic tasting treat, let me break it down for you. First, plastic. These bowls are my go-to mixing bowls. There's a bunch of sizes, so there's plenty of them to pre-measure my ingredients and do my mixing. And the pour spout and the non-slip bottom keep messes to a minimum, making cleanup a little bit easier. Next, stainless steel. These bowls are great for mixing too, but I mainly use these bowls when I'm making bread or cinnamon rolls or things that require a dough to rise. The metal retains heat better than plastic, so it'll give you a better rise on your product. And while stainless steel is technically non-reactive, I don't recommend using stainless steel bowls when you're marinating or mixing with ingredients that are acidic, such as vinegar or citrus juices. They can make your food taste a little tinny, so it's better to be safe than sorry. Speaking of safety, neither plastic nor stainless steel bowls can be used in the microwave, which leads me to glass. Glass bowls are great for mixing hot ingredients or if you need to melt butter, warm milk, melt chocolate, things like that in the microwave. And they can also do everything that plastic and stainless steel bowls can do, making them a Jill of all trades. The only thing that keeps them from being my go-to is the noise and little brain rattle that I tend to get when I use my hand mixer in the glass bowls. That being said, if you only have space or a budget for one set of bowls, let them be glass. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe or follow us on social media and go to milkjarcookies.com to order yourself some cookies.